benefits of SWIFT GPI are the transparency uh, of our payments, end-to-end -end tra traceability of our payments, um, and really it's going to drive more efficient use of, of resources in our data. The GPI will provide an end-to-end -end traceability or tracking of our payment, and our processing teams, our operational teams, will know whether it got to that beneficiary or not. The second benefit to that is we're gonna have more efficient use of resources. So I've got more efficient resources. I've got fewer service requests to the banks. I would hope lower bank fees then because I've got lower service requests from the banks. The third benefit is from a treasury perspective, we have critical payments that we need to see to the end uh, beneficiary. We need to know that it got to the beneficiary and this gives us the transparency to see it into the beneficiary's account. The fourth benefit for us is that we're going to get data back. We're going to understand if fees were taken, if there's FX conversion. We're going to be able to take that data and we're going to be able to do trend analysis. We're going to be able to use our modern tools to understand our payments and the payment flows better. So the tracking capabilities that we are getting with Swift GPI provide a couple of very key critical things. One is transparency and visibility into what's really happening with these cross-border transactions, which bank is spending how much time processing these payments, what fees may have been applied, and by using that we can give peace of mind and reassurance to our clients that money is being moving. On the other hand, it also gives reassurance on when exactly does the recipient bank, the beneficiary bank, take possession of those funds. And these are some of the most common questions that are being addressed at our help desk. Are clients really needing to deal with the challenges? GPI addresses that. Not only do we now have that visibility, we can also offer our clients an automated way to retrieve that information. Hopefully this is going to grow into a large comprehensive framework, allowing us better consumer and corporate oriented services. Well, it's important for us to be collaborative in this space. So it's been a great partnership with Swift. It's been a great partnership with corporates to drive the right adoption model as you take this into those Swift connected corporates who are gonna drive the industry on this particular topic. So we feel it's an important aspect to look holistically. It's good to bring the corporate into the product development process to understand what their needs are, to truly understand the end-to-end -end experience, and most importantly, work with different corporates to drive a useful model versus a bank-only model. So work with your customer, understand the end-to-end -end experience, and I think that's what's opening the doors for additional support for the proof of concept. I think the corporates that have already signed up for Swift GPI are already starting to see the benefits of the track and trace functionality. So they know when their payment's gonna be executed, they know exactly where it is in the chain. I think what's next is layering onto Swift GPI payment control services and the ability to not only know where your payment is and know all of the fees involved in that, in that chain, but also the ability to stop and recall the payment if for whatever reason there's something suspect about the payment or how it was initiated, which I think corporates are starting to see as a huge risk mitigator.